Hey everyone, I'm sorry if the sound sounds a little weird, I'm not using the mic for this one, but I do want to see how it sounds without the mic, and also, forgot to get rid of that background noise. <clears throat> so I was going to take a little break from White Lives Matter. This is White Lives Matter, a podcast slash show where a black queer tells you why white lives matter too much in America. Me. Um, I just wanted to make this really quick because the Justine uh, Damon verdict apparently dropped today. And uh, the family was awarded $20 million. And I have, I'm, I am as conflicted as a lot of people because a case of police brutality was solved. But in the dynamics of a white woman versus a black man um, who is also an immigrant... Um, he faced the consequences that all police officers should face. And I find that it is a trend in other cases that I've seen where black and or female police officers do face the proper consequences when they commit acts against the community where white, usually male police officers literally get away with murder on various occasions. We can't look at Justine Diamond's case and forget about Philando Castile, if I'm saying that right, I hope I am, Eric Gardner, and so many others that have lost their lives to white supremacy. And then look at this and be like, oh, well, I mean, I can't even imagine what can be said about this because it is a, a black police officer with a white, a black male police officer with a white female victim. Um, this, this just really complicates things. But at the same time, it shouldn't complicate things. People should suffer consequences when they commit acts against the community. And what happened is exactly what should have happened. And it should always happen. Not just against black officers, not just against black male officers, not just against black, female, or whatever other sex or gender have you. Not just against officers of color. White officers need to be held accountable when they do things. White male officers need to be held accountable. Because I've seen white female officers be held accountable. So, I... The $20 million won't bring her back. And I'm sure that the family would rather have her than the money. So still, condolences... At the same time, congratulations on the victory of the case because you got a lot more than anyone else gets. You got a lot more than Tamir Rice. Well, maybe not. Tamir Rice's family actually did win uh, their second case. <clears throat> um, but you got more than Philando Castile. You got more than Eric Gardner. You forgot. You got more than a lot of people that have faced this same injustice. But the point is, is that this needs to stop. Are authority figures that we really don't get to decide who gets to be put in place as authority figures of our community. Um, first of all, that needs to change. The, the overall supremacy of our system needs to change where we pick our authority figures. And when they do things like this, they all need to be held accountable. So, that's it. I do hope that I hope that we can overcome the totalitarian uh, dystopia that we're apparently falling into. I hope that we can make a final turnaround, maybe at the last minute, or we're all going to die. Um, not just that, but also global warming. There's a, a thing that came out today about that. Global warming is going to be talking about that for a while, no matter what happens. Um, but yeah. Ramble, ramble, ramble. Take care of yourselves and each other. Uh, kill your local rapist, and I'll see y'all later.